Hey what's going on everyone, my name is Magic and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm be telling you how to upgrade the bow and arrow to the spirit bow. Now this is the third bow and arrow upgrade that I'm doing. I've already done the lightning bow and the void bow. I've yet to do the fire bow. Um, that one was actually recently found so I will be getting that out uh, maybe later tonight or tomorrow, not quite sure yet. But either way, let's get into the spirit bow. So if you've not done so already, you have to first get the bow and arrow. If you don't know how to get the bow and arrow, there will be a link in the description on a tutorial on how to actually get the bow and arrow. It's rather simple. So once you have the bow and arrow, you can get started. So step one is to interact with these four paintings. You have to interact with these paintings in a specific order. Just just follow the order on screen and you will be good. The paintings do, however, spawn in different areas every game, so you will have to look for them, but the order in which you interact with them will stay the same. The next step is to go to the pyramid room and come over to this wall and collect the arrow that falls from the wall. Then you have to head over to the rocket and shoot the red flag with the bow and a skull will roll down the cliff. You then have to head back to the pyramid room and place the skull in this box with the wolves on it, and when you do that, a spirit of a wolf will appear. Now basically this dog is going to lead you to three places on the map, and you have to kill about 10 zombies in each of those areas, and then the wolf will begin to dig up bones. Then after the dog is digging, you just have to go over and interact with the dig spot to collect a bone, and you will do the same thing at every single dig site, and it's rather easy because the wolf leads you exactly to where you need to be. But I will tell you every place he will go. He will go to the courtyard, the spawn area, and in the pyramid room right by the pack-a-punch machine. After you have all three bones, you will have to activate the no gravity in the pyramid room, and to do this, you just have to stand on these four blue tiles until they turn blue, and they should stay lit permanently once they are activated. After you do that, give it some time and zero gravity will be activated in this room. So once zero gravity is activated, you need to jump to that blue marker on the wall, and then shoot the wolf heads with the bone arrow when they appear. Then just jump back on the ledge and place the bones into the tomb, and then after that you will get the new arrow. So once you get the new arrow, bring it back to the wolf box by the pyramid and place it in the box. Then you just need to kill zombies around the box till the box is full of souls. souls. It'll probably take 20 or 30 zombies to fill the box fully, and you'll know when it's full because it will stop taking souls. And then finally, when the box is full of souls, place your bow in the box, wait a little bit, and then you can grab your newly upgraded bow, the spirit bow. And this is actually a really cool bow, um, mostly because of the name, I think. I think the name Spirit Bow is actually pretty awesome. Now, it's not an official name of the weapon. It's just a name that people are coining it as. But nonetheless, still a really good name. And the bow is cool because it turns zombies into spirits that just simply fade away. It like, produces like this blast effect, and they just turn into spirits and then just float away. So, rather cool bow. Uh, we have yet to find the fire... Well, we have found the fire one. It is found. Uh, I just haven't made a video on it. Uh, so, this is my third one. If you want to see how to make the lightning bow or the void bow or find the bow in general you can check out the link in the description to my bow playlist where i show um, how to upgrade all these bows anyways that's it for the video hopefully you all enjoyed if you did feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not done so already also feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section below i'll be answering any questions you have to help you out anyways my name is magic and i'm out